and the bike and a monozo a bomb in the monzo a dalonia no much conus nessor and a menobus in Keta a tata buqua obose in Canada or twenty ninth of December twenty twenty three. I would take near Bozzi Dio Kemba from the office of the Afrom Prime Minister and Kebunisibo, my Samuel Neba. My fire gun you do. As Kakukun, if I know Boku Yozobu, even in tea, Kajuko and Maria, a Yabo program on Kaiwe, number Sinketa. Eduko Sidi, the Kasikun, Konagan, and you know the Chabuna, Bastamaki, Roman and Mena Nibu, and Bastamaka, Muno and Kanazo, or the year from Prime Minister of Kasimina, who are Machoka, Kibaman against the Gaya Beef. I guess here, when I drop or comment, you know, if you know, you don't know, Bastamaki, if you know, you know, you uh, we are from Prime Minister Kuo. We are seeing you now. All right, over to you, sir. Put that this land we are collected from, from the government not returned all of them. So we are not uh, uh, here. We are not uh, agitating to settle land dispute. We don't settle land dispute, but there are lands that the government collected, or they collected it in the name of government, but it is not actually government. And I made it as position some time ago. So, we know that after that exposition, many of those land were returned, especially the one with the University of Osaka, and there probably other ones were returned, because the land was converted, it becomes individual land. So, if you are part of the people that have converted the land of people into your own personal property in Enugu State, Enugu State to be precise, from tonight, return people their land because it is not about government we know that you use the government name to collect it i've made this exposition before after this exposition a lot of land were returned i'm saying it again we have for people say if you collect land of people in the name of enugu state commissioner for land or whatever your name is return this land to the rightful owners. The government did not collect the land. It is you and your group that have converted this land in the name of government. So this is position I have made a few months ago. Why we are saying this thing is that it is not going to be very easy for those who are political leaders and people are, get, are getting killed in your constituency and you are not talking. Those who get involved in selling the land to Fulani terrorists which are your community and why they are killing people in your community you are somewhere enjoying Unkobi. It will no longer be possible for you to enjoy that Unkobi. You will go back to your village and stay and you are going to be part of those that we are going to give weapon to fight against the Fulani that you brought to your community. I am telling you the fact. So if you know that you are one of those who sold land to people to come and kill your communities in Biafra land, you are going to be part of the fight. We will make sure, we will get you, we will give you every machinery, every machete you need, every gun you need, I will put you in the war front. You will go there and fight. It is going to happen. I will start it from a Hamufu. You are going to fight. All of you, we are saying it now from this night. We will make sure anywhere you are, we are going to get you. I will put you in the war front. You are going to fight this terrorist yourself. Because you cannot be endangering the life of other people. And then you are in somewhere in the city enjoying yourself. So if you are one of those, I want you to make this video available to anybody. In case... Because your community know you. Some of you that have become God in your community, your community knows you. So we have resolved that going forward, starting from a harmful in issues of local government, all those people that were involved in selling the land to terrorists, that they will come to start killing people now. We will get to you and we will give you weapon to go and fight. We will, we will fight with you. But you are going to part of this fight. 
so that other people somewhere in other state are going to learn a lesson. We make everybody, everybody is going to be involved in this. So, this is the special announcement that I want to pass to Bia France this evening. But you know, we are not going to end this program without uh, making, showing you one or two videos of what Nigeria have done and how Nigeria operate. So, I want to play this video and I want everybody to understand what is going on. Now, I want everyone to listen to this video. You know what I'm talking about. You can Google as I talk. What is California? California is a state in the no. <laughs> it, it's a precious stone. Oh, not California. And that's why I want to tell you this. California. Mm. California in today's market. Google tell me the price before I finish talking. In today's market today, in the world market today. I ask. In Borno State, there is Boko Haram. Mm. There are areas that are still mine, now no go area. Mm. The weather is harsh. It's very unfriendly. It's a small place. But there is something the international community with the connivance yeah, of Nigeria. Yeah. Every, every day, NGO. every day you have NGOs coming into and they are hiring houses for from 10 years, 20 years and above. Mm. And once you give them the price, they don't ask, they just pay. Mm. What are they doing? Why are most of them coming with satellite telephones? Yeah. Why are, they, are most of them coming with uh, 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 PCs that are working with the same satellite telephones? Computers How come? That are working directly with satellite. How come you don't most know. of them come under the guise of supportive activities mm. to the poor? They are giving them education. Did the Ministry of Health bother to discover the type of medicine they are giving to the poor? Mm. How come the increase in kidney and cancer, kidney and liver and cancer problems in Borno? How come it is attacking old people? How come the NGOs live in the wee hours of the night? Where are soldiers to go? Police, security men they cannot go. Here. They go to this, this California, do they take part day? How much is a gram of California in world market today? Who has Google to know? 27 million 100,000 per gram million dollars. I didn't see that. Yes, it's the most expensive. Do we have it in Nigeria? That's what started the Boko Haram. That's the game. Are we aware? How can we be ignorant of our country, of our place, of what God has given to us? If we don't know your country, what type of leadership are you coming to give? Your liability if you don't know. How can we be supporting ignorance where we search for leadership? So what, what can we do about it? Somebody should read it. How much is Californium? Okay. Californium is... Talk to the mic properly. Californium is $27 million per gram, not kilogram. So how per many gram. grams is in a kilogram? 1,000. 1,000 grams makes one kilogram. And one gram is $27 million. $27 million. So one kilogram... Is the most expensive, you know. You know, when I knew this, mm -mm. 1996. Now, do you know? Do you know what they are not telling? Every 
community in Biafra land, every community anywhere in Nigeria, the Fulani terrorists are coming to kill. There is something there. There is something I've seen that you don't know. There is something they have seen that even the communities don't know. There is something they have seen that you don't know. And you stop at nothing until they get it. That is why not even one inch of Biafra land will be sold to any Fulani terrorist. Not even one inch of land will be given away to anybody that will come to kill us instead of bringing development. So when you see them in a Hamufu, when you see them in the local government, ready to do anything to create fear so that people can run away, we are not running away. We will only use those who sold the land to them to teach other people lesson by making sure they get involved in the fight to retrieve the land back. So if you are watching me this evening and you know that you have sold land to full and need terrorists without knowing what is in the land you have sold to them, it's not just about the resources or anything. No. What we are after here is the life and property is of our people. The life of our women, of our children, the life of everybody that is in that community. Now, check it. Look at how many years of Boko Haram war. Today, if you go to the to the Lake Chad or whatever they call it, Lake Chad also, there is crude oil there. You know, you know in Lake Chad, Boko Haram have made it possible that, that nobody goes to that place again in Lake Chad. They are in charge. Nigeria doesn't know what is going on there. I am telling you, Nigeria doesn't know what is going on in Lake Chad. Are those in charge? Full of me, terrorists from the north. They are in charge of the oil. They are in charge of Chad, everything there. Controlling them through the Boko Haram. I want you to understand that today they have instructed their Boko Haram to calm down. They told them, calm down. Election is coming. Let us reduce the tension from the north. Instruction has been given. That is why you are not hearing so much, too much noise from them. So, but we are different. We are not terrorists. That is why our noise is increasing by the day. Our noise is increasing by the day. While the noise of the terrorists in the north are reducing, our noise will be increasing because we can never be part of this Nigeria setup again from 2023. Never. So the people in Ehamufu may not even know why these terrorists say they must kill all of them. The people in Ehamufu do not know the reason why full, why these terrorists will come with a helicopter. As I'm talking to you now, they came with over 200 special squad to kill our people. Over 200 of killer squad in the Hamufu. They dropped helicopter. The helicopter came there and dropped weapon. From where? From 82 Division in Ubu. 82 Division. And who else? Or who knows where else? Only God knows. Have you also not read that the inter society or whatever they call them have uh, have called for the uh, for the removal of the GOC of the division because of the way he is shouting and protecting this particular person? <coughs> Sorry.
Do you understand? So, when you see them killing people in a Hamufu, bringing a helicopter, it is something they are looking for. There is something that they have discovered there that you don't know. So let us listen. And one of the offenses we committed to some big, big men is getting to know this. We were tagged enemies and it should not be known. 1996, I was tagged. Remember, at that time there was the first campaign against me in Concord newspaper, front page, the Iron Man behind a butcher. That was the beginning on how to destroy me. And all for Nigeria. And I'm doing it for our well-being. If you sit down and say Kuwait is rich, how can we be seeing our relations, our parents? Whosoever you are, a mother is a mother. You see mothers carrying wood. And that's your mother, if you love at her, because she's poor. She's your mother. You see an uncle trekking, without, some without shoes, into the farm, toiling the soil. That's your father. Now, some of you will be wondering, why is this man doing like this? Now, let us go and check Major Major almost Uh, sorry about the mic. Sorry about the mic. Major Al Mustafa. Major Al Mustafa. Alright, let us check Major Mustafa tribe. Um, you know, I did not, <laughs> I did not actually, I did not actually uh, prepare for this, but. Uh, I wonder why it's here. Uh, all right, so let us uh, let us look at this. Of course, this is from the internet, but however, it is uh, 
it is still like you know it is something that is known by everyone that mustafa is an awesome man okay mustafa is an awesome man and of course uh, some of you will not understand what is going on so Hamza uh, mustafa was born uh, from Hausa family and educated in Nguru. He enrolled at the Nigeria Defense Academy, Kaduna, and was commissioned into the Nigeria Army in 1983. So uh, he is an Hausa man, not uh, not a Fulani man. I think that's all. That's the only thing I wanted to show. I wanted to show you people is that uh, he is not a Fulani man. He's uh, he's an Hausa man. Okay, now. Let us uh, go here. That 2023 will not be like 2019 and 2015. Comrades, are we communicating? 2023 will not be like 2019 and 2015. But I want to appeal to you, distinguished comrades, that we must get our PVC. Uh, the school was that uh, his speech was almost over. But my presence reignited him back to square zero. <laughs> And by Dalu Linden, Kunusipa, when a Guya be fine, a me, the other guys of Kunun Kun Nabuambo, and of Kai Fun now comments in Nirapo, and Mankeriki be a bo, the King Ruyeni, the Afro Prime Minister of Gassi, Nirapo, and my Chitaway and KB be a which there was on a year with Standards twenty four. Guys, but when I went to Nukos, they had okay, but Kifi would be Kipu, Master Makayenda, Nine, the Afro Prime Minister of Gassi, Nirapo, the teacher, a Kabaro Kidro Polaya, on the Commission Bureau. Uncle, a body key be able a chitape, kitty on you do, Mazin and the cannon, but a catchable cabin, my mare, call put on a bottle. Or try to put a jack or a dead in. Is sir? Is sir? Is sir? All right, thank you, and also stay tuned at Eastern News 24. Can we see on the bar?